Hello everybody, welcome to this video on an introduction to plugin in Maple. Okay, so in this video I'm going to uh, write some notes on plugin and then uh, load up Maple and have a little play around, do some sketching and just try to make those sketches look quite nice, all that kind of stuff. So, number one, how do we plot? So, working in 2D, in two dimensions, well, we can use the plot command. F is an expression, and X is an independent variable. And we'll get our sketch. If okay, maybe we'll jump into to Maple here and see that in action. So, plot our expression. Let's try maybe sine of X. And our variable is x, plot that, and we have our first sketch, two-dimensional sketch, as expected, of sine x. So um, not too much to say other than uh, take a look at the scale. Uh, Maple has uh, predicted we're interested in the domain minus 2 pi to 2 pi. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we do have some control over that. So if I go back to the notepad, if we wanted to look at more or even less, we could specify, we could pick some number A, dot dot, some number B, and this will plot F from X equals A to X equals B. Okay, so we can specify the domain. Let's try that. So plot sine x. X goes from, suppose we only want to go from zero, and we want to go to 10 pi. And as you can see, we get what we expected, the sine graph over that specified domain. Okay, um, I'll maybe do a few more. Let's plot 1 minus x squared. Oops. Okay, as expected, uh, we get this parabola. Okay, it's showing quite a lot of y values there. We could restrict that a little. Let's go from minus 2 dot to 2. Okay, so there's the plot of the, the parabola. Um, maybe something a bit more interesting. Let's do sine of sine sine of t divided by one plus the exponential function of t oops all squared. Let's plot that with respect to t. Does it like it? Yeah, it does. And there you go. We have a sketch of that function. It's predicted we're interested in the domain minus 2 pi to 2 pi. That's absolutely fine. We're just getting familiar with the basics at the moment. Okay, so there's a few sketches. What if we want to really jazz it up? So the third option we could use is the plot command, the function, the domain, whoops, two dots there, if you put three it won't work, and then options. Okay, options, we have some, some, some flexibility uh, to change our sketch, could be color, could be titles, could be legends, Okay, so some options, some common ones that you might want. Um, a legend, maybe we're doing multiple plots. Uh, you might want a title, let's start with title. So if you want a title, you probably want it as a string, so you can type your title in between the, the quotation marks. Maybe let's try that one. If I go to the sketch on the end, let's do title my 
my graph. And as expected, we can see the title sitting above the y-axis. Okay, some other useful ones. Well, well, legend is quite useful, but I suppose we want a, um, a few plots on one there. So maybe let's look at plotting more than one function on the same axes before we look at that. Okay, so maybe I'll just come up by here. Four. Okay, so if we want to plot more than one function, we use a square bracket. Let's say we want to do three fgh, put those functions, which are uh, expressions, in square brackets, and then the domain as usual, and we'll get a, um, a sketch of three functions. So let's try that next. So three of your favorite functions, plot, Okay, so let's do maybe log of x, the square root of x, and the exponential function. So they're separated by commas and placed between square brackets. Okay, we should pick some x values. Be careful of the domain. Let's do from one. Um, I'm not going to look at too much. Maybe we should look from one to two. And there you go. We have a plot of our three, three different graphs. We can put a title on that. Title my new graph. Okay, so I've got a title now. Um, I don't know which one is which. We're looking at the colors. So we're going to need the legend. So legend, this goes in the option section. The command for legend is just legend equals and you place what you what your labels are between commas in between square brackets. Okay, so let's have a play with that. These options, you can just keep tagging them on the end. Do as many as you like. So legend. I just do ABC for the moment, and I'll go in and edit in a moment. So there you go. There's the legend ABC. Okay, maybe I'll do something a bit better than that. So A. The first one is log of x. B. The one in the middle is the square root of x. And C is the exponential function. And it's quite nice, this. It's taken the log and the square root and the exponential and it's written, written them in, in um, mathematical mathematical way rather than typing SQRT and then showing SQRT. It's actually building the square root. I think that's quite nice. Uh, okay, um, oh, there's one more, I should say. I want some color. Okay, American spelling or British spelling. I'll go with the American. That's come from the help browser. So if we want to add some color. Okay, similar to legend, we use the square brackets. Okay, there's loads of building colors. We'll put these in as strings. So let's say red, green, and blue. This will put your first graph as red, your second is green, and your third is blue. Okay, so let's try that in Maple. The last additional option is color. Spell it the American way. I'm sure the British way works as well. Okay, what do we say? Red, green, and blue. And if we run that, and everything now is what I expected. Okay, I think that's a good point to stop. 10 minutes, almost on the nose. 
Uh, there you go, a little bit of sketching in Maple.